most frequent complaints from teachers of new children newly starting at school is that they don't know how to deal with the basics. The basics of going to the toilet by themselves, sitting down at a table and eating properly with other children there, dressing and undressing for PE and for games. So this is a really important thing that parents can do to help their children before they ever they start school practicing these so Im such important skills. Take dressing and undressing. Of course it must be fun. Undressing is generally easier than dressing, but some children are a little bit clumsy and do find certain aspects of dressing quite difficult. Certainly managing tricky fastenings are the most usual source of difficulty. But even if you are a parent in a great hurry, it is important to get your child practicing how to dress and undress and to do it well before the start of school. Managing at mealtimes, again, it's very easy if you're in a hurry to just help with the odd spoonful, but that's really not going to happen at school. The child has to be able to fend for him or herself. And of course in the toilet, much teacher, precious teacher time can be wasted if they're having to spend the time not only helping the child to dress and undress, but showing them how to wipe themselves, wash their hands. Very important knowing that they should be washing their hands routinely, of course, so that they're not picking up and passing on germs. Now, all of this can also be folded in as part of a routine. By routine, I mean patterns of doing things, doing things in the same sort of way at the same sort of time, whether it's bedtimes or meal times or getting up. You have to get up, children have to get up at the same time most mornings for, to be in time for school, so it follows that other things need to be at a regular time and done in a regular way so that the day flows smoothly. Routines at home we think are incredibly important, not only in themselves, but they will make life easier for you, but also they will make life easier for your child actually at school. They will certainly help with behaviour. And you can, if you like, think of this as preparing your child for good behaviour. When we come to talk about how to deal with difficult behaviour, the most important thing is to prepare the child for behaving well, so you're not just having to problem solve later on. So the routines, that is to say bedtimes and the countdown to bedtime, that's as important as going to bed itself so that the child knows that perhaps after supper there's a period of play and then after play it's going to get uh, a wash or bath and clean teeth and then bedtime, then story. If the child knows exactly what's going to happen, in the order it's going to happen, then the child, him or herself, will feel more secure and there won't be a big issue every time it has to be bedtime about what has to be done and who's going to tell them what to do. And the same is true for getting dressed in the morning and for meal times. So it all goes in a short period of time, not long and drawn out and of course it means for the child there's more chance to play and more time for you as a parent to have fun and to do all the other skills learning and teaching that are such fun for parents to do with their children. Having routines is not about being obsessive or rigid. It's really not. It's just about being regular and letting the child know that regularity makes life easier. It doesn't inhibit spontaneity. You can still be spontaneous, do things on the spur of the moment because you feel like it. You still have lots of fun and it should all be about fun at the same time as routine. But routines will make all your lives very much easier.